That is the light produced by a 60 watt bulb. Now you really can't appreciate how dim this is. This, because the camera's ISO is adjusting automatically to compensate for low light. But this is just, this is not enough light to read by. It's about, I mean, it's like what you would expect from, you know, a bright night light. A very bright night light. But, uh, let's see there. That's a night light. And this is a 60 watt bulb. Okay. Now watch as I <laughs> unscrew this. I mean, everybody knows how, how flippin' hot incandescent bulbs get. I mean, I can't, can't even touch it, you know. All right, so that is the bulb that was in there. Uh, let me zoom in close. It's even started to cook the shirt onto it. Let me zoom in so that you can see exactly what that is. Let me, can you see? All right, I think that's pretty good. You can see what that says. 60 watts, 120 volt for a fan. It's a little bulb, you know. Here's my hand. Let me show you a regular sized bulb in comparison. No, I like that. All right, look, check this out. Now this is the other alternative. Zoom in so you can really read what we got here. All right, let me lock down the tripod here. Let me see. Okay, see where it says at the top, helixical or whatever, hexical, 26 watts. That's much better. This thing will put off a lot more light. Let me zoom in here on the thingy here. And the, all right, let's put this guy in. 26 watts, and it will produce about as much light as a 100 watt bulb incandescent. Let me turn off the other light. Once it heats up, these take a while to, uh, to get going, but once it gets going, it'll give off as much light as a 100 watt bulb. But, Okay, now what I have here is a converted uh, PSU from a computer, the power supply unit. And I know all those wires probably look pretty uh, intimidating, but really it's, it's much simpler than you think to make something to drive LEDs. Let's pause right here. You do not need a computer power supply to run an LED uh, board or anything that has an LED. All you need is a DC power source uh, capable of providing enough amperage. And that sounds complex, but it's not. Uh, just look on any um, wall converter, like the thing you charge your phone with, or that powers your house phone, or any number of other objects in your house, and look on the back. It will give you a voltage and an amps. The, uh, a maximum amount of amps that it can put out. Um, usually they're 12 volts, so that's great, that's perfect. Most of these light boards are going to come prepared for 12 volts. And the amperage, um, one LED requires 20 milliamps. There are a thousand amps in one amp, or a thousand milliamps in one amp. So with a one amp uh, wall converter, you could power 50 LEDs. So I plan to do a fairly large uh, setup, which is going to be 240 LEDs. So I'm going to use probably end up using a uh, computer PSU because it can handle some, it can handle quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how many amps. I think it's something like 12 amps or something like that. Um, uh, just for some comparison. This is another P uh, power supply and all the wires that are on it. 
Now you can see the difference is just that I have cut all these Molex connectors off and grouped all the colors, the light colors together. All the blacks are common. Um, all the, uh, the yellow is 12 volt, red is 5 volt, and there's a couple oranges that are 3 volts right here. Um, the reason I have a light bulb going on here is because without a constant load, these will shut down, you know, for safety. I don't know why. I have to keep them screwing your computer up for some reason. But another cool feature is, I'm not going to do it because it takes a while to reset. If you short these, the whole thing shuts down, uh, to, you know, to keep from further damaging things. And see, I mean, all I did was link the red, the black, the orange. Now, I don't really actually remember how I did this, and if I was going to do it again, I would probably look up a tutorial like I did the first time. And there's, a, there's like one or two wires that you have to put together. And I think it's this skinny brown one and the orange to keep it running. Uh, but other than that, it's really, there's nothing to it. Um, so that's what I use to run a lot of my projects. That, I don't know what the wattage is on this. It's only like 250 watts. But that's enough to do most uh, little things. Now here is, let me zoom in so you can see this up close. All right, here are the LED boards that I just ordered. They're prepared for 12 volts. I put the wires on there. They just come as a board. They're very small, but they put out a tremendous amount of light. Each one of these boards, each one of these boards is uh, only 1.5 watts. So, in comparison to the 100 watt bulbs, the 60 watt bulbs. Oh, and another thing, these don't give off any heat. LEDs don't. The resistor might, I mean, it might, it will, but not anything that could burn you. Okay. Now here's the two in series. Let's see what that looks like. Put that one in. That one in. It's the wrong polarity. You see that? I mean, that is super bright. And it's blindingly bright. If you stare into these, you are blind. Um, <clears throat> which is exactly what you need for doing video. You need lights that are just ungodly bright. So that's two in series. And what makes these really neat, I mean, they're so versatile. Let me zoom out for you, or in, whatever. You see these little holes? These are for screws. The uh, idea I had was to put, I'm not sure, I don't think I have any. I don't have any, but um, Romex wire in these, which is like the wiring in your walls, and it's really stiff. You know, like it's hard to bend. And if you put a bunch in there, you could make these like stand up like so. You know, and then you could bend them to wherever you needed them, you know, to point. And make like a sort of a tree out of them. But, anyway, all these lights together, I haven't wired all of them up, I'm not going to, but all of the lights together, it would be like 15 watts. Still less than the fluorescent bulb that I showed you. And it would be, it would make this whole room look like the surface of the sun. It would be so bright. So, anyway, that's a quick uh, lesson on why LEDs are vastly superior to incandescents. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my channel, and if you like my videos, subscribe to see more.